another video today in this video i'm going to review the havoc os uh, version uh, 4.6 which is very latest and this is a official build for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well so now let's get it started from the setting let me show you at a glance about section you guys can see android version 11 4.6 version and kernel version is lineage os uh, sorry uh, kernel is here lineage os and c linux status enforcing and then you can have a look on system we have the google keyboard because this is a gfs build this is not a vanilla build and we have digital well-being here you guys can see the data here and we have security on security we have face unlock app locker and everything is just working pretty much fine no issues on that and this is official build i already told you guys and display setting we have the regular features and double tap to wait uh, it's working no issues on that and configuration center which is the important thing we have used customization on havoc OS. as usual we have all those things you guys can check yourself and everything i have tested everything is working no issues on that and let me show you some basic things right now and we have by default google camera go you guys can use and i have already installed one camera here google camera which is working and as to photography you guys can enable and disable this no issues on that and it can uh, capture amazing photos now you guys can see here i have already rooted the device and let me show you cpu throttling for five minutes you guys can see it's uh, throttle to 89 percent for five minutes if i ran it for 15 minutes then the performance will be dropped and the percentage will be uh, reduced and the charging speed let me show you it was uh, 2 and 1 I connected my device in charge and then to uh, uh, 258 it was 71 percent in charge and 97 percent when 343 so you guys can have better idea and here it is showing there you guys can see 17 percent to 100 percent it took 2 hour and 29 minute but it was not 29 minute uh, 2 hour 15 minute because charger was connected and I was far from the phone so that's why I uh, could not disconnect the charger in time so that's why it's showing more time it took less so charging speed is really good no problem on that and the main thing is that let me show you here the play store as it is a GFS version let me show you this is not certified so how can we try this first step and first of all sh let me show the geekbench score and you guys can see 260 1071 and which is poor according to uh, MIUI Hellas ROM because on MIUI Hellas we got huge score uh, as it was Android 10 but this is Android 11 though this is Android 11 we have the poor score here note down that and now let me show you safety net as device is not certified so safety net will not be passed you guys can see so how can we fix that first step just open magics manager and go to magic setting you guys can see here and enable the magics hide and then get back sorry and click on play store go to app info and you guys can see here is storage and cache just clear the storage for once and just reboot your device so device is booted now let me check safety net is passed or not so here you go let it be loaded and where is the safety net here it is and now test if it doesn't work then we have to do 
one important thing so you guys can see we don't need to do other thing it is already passed so this is the way you guys can pass your safety net easily and now you guys can use banking applications any official applications no issues on that so you guys can see now this is not here and after a few minutes when you use that the, the play store it will be fixed and you guys can see will be see here and the device is certified so no issues on that this is the way you guys can uh, certify and now let me talk about the important thing and uh, which is about gaming uh, I played games here I played Call of Duty you guys can see for uh, uh, more than one hour and I am really really disappointed because this is not a gaming room and you are a daily driver then for gaming if you want daily driver for gaming then this is not a gaming room and this is not for you and if you are a normal user day to day life then you guys can use this room easily no problem and multi multitasking is really good no issues on that and you guys can see here on multitasking it is good no problem but on gaming uh, it is disappointing and it is very poor uh, it is very poor and very poor I am telling it you guys so don't use that and MIUI Hellas is really really very good and really better than uh, this room according to gaming and according to performance I can suggest you you guys can use that one no problem so and thanks Arvian Karan for building that room and hopefully uh, in future this will be more stable so hope you guys like the video if you guys really like that video then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and thank you for watching